The news of Sinclair Forest Products rebuilding Lakeland Mills brought smiles to many faces. Now comes a challenge of making it a reality. There are challenges on that front moving forward. We made the decision to build the new mill. It was welcome news for the community and the employees who used to work at Lakeland Mills, but while it will take more than a year to build the new mill, it may be a challenge when it comes time to find the 100 employees to work there. It's going to be challenging. I mean, the skill shortage is out there, and uh, to attract people uh, you know, back into the community is, uh, is going to be challenging as the industry uh, you know, moves up and uh, commodity markets change you're going to find that uh, that skill shortage is going to be a real hindrance. There is good news, though. Forestry is seeing a boom that it hasn't seen in a decade, with lumber prices up more than $400 per thousand board feet and Asian markets in hot demand for lumber. Uh, the whole market is short of wood, and as the housing starts are picking up, we can't keep up with the supply, so we're into this, what we're thinking is a bit of a super cycle, where we think the next two, three, four, even five years could be all part of a cycle where we're waiting for supply to catch up to demand. Very unusual for the lumber business. Another challenge facing the new mill, it will incorporate a great deal more technology than its predecessor. Technology is out there is just mind-boggling. And again, as the industry raises and uh, profits raise, new technology comes in. So the mill that's going to be built at Lakelands, we're assuming is going to have some very advanced technology in it. So the people that were there, long-tenured workers that want to come back, there's no question they're going to have to hone in their skills. Many of the former Lakeland workers have said they would like to return once the mill is up and running in 2014. The union feels it would be prudent on the company to look at pre-training. From, from a corporate point of view, that would probably be a smart move because, uh, again, you want to retain attachment to those employees. So whatever that you can do in partnership or otherwise, you know, to encourage that uh, skills training and, and get them motivated and up, you're going to keep them around a lot longer. They're going to feel better about themselves. With the future of forestry looking as bright as many of the experts predict, the skills shortage may be an issue for everyone, not just like land. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.